In November of 2022, Sam Altman released a product called ChatGPT into the world. And after that, nothing was ever the same. Generative AI. 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 Suddenly, these two letters are everywhere. Every headline and every product launch. Two letters that used to mean almost nothing to people now carry the weight of the entire tech industry. But here's what's interesting. While we've all been mesmerized by chatbots and image generators, Sam Altman has been planning for something else entirely. Something that makes ChatGPT look like a toy. I've been studying Altman, his interviews, his blog posts, his congressional testimonies. And buried in all of that is a plan, not for better chatbots, but for what he calls the gentle singularity. A complete transformation of human civilization. And he thinks it's already begun. To understand Altman's plan, you have to understand how he thinks. In 2015, while running YC, Silicon Valley's most prestigious startup accelerator, Altman wrote something that, at the time, seemed almost absurd. Development of superhuman machine intelligence is probably the greatest threat to the continued existence of humanity. This was 2015, seven years before ChatGPT, when AI was not even known to the masses yet. But Altman saw something others didn't. Not just the technology, but the trajectory. AI has the potential to uh, eliminate like, nearly all human suffering in the next couple of decades. And in 2019, he made a bet. He left YC, left being one of the most powerful positions in Silicon Valley, to run a non-profit AI lab that most people have never heard of. Open AI. And four years later, ChatGPT became the fastest growing consumer application in history. A hundred million users in two months. But here's what most people don't realize. ChatGPT was never the goal. It was just the beginning. In January of 2025, Altman said something that should have been front page news everywhere. We are now confident we know how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. His timeline has compressed dramatically. In 2023, he talked about AGI in terms of decades. By 2024, years. And now, he says 2025, we will see the first AI agents join the workforce. And he was right. We are already seeing it with companies like Motion and Relevance AI that are making it incredibly easy to create agents that can do work for you. But to understand why he's so confident, you need to understand three observations Altman has made about AI scaling. First, the intelligence of an AI model roughly equals the log of the resources used to train it. More compute equals more intelligence, predictably and continuously. Second, the cost to use that intelligence falls about 10 times every 12 months. Not Moore's Law two times every two years, but 10 times every year. And third, the value of linearly increasing intelligence is super exponential. What cost $10,000 a year ago costs a dollar today. What takes a human a week, an AI might do in minutes. And Altman isn't talking about the future anymore. He is talking about now. But here's where Altman's vision gets really interesting. Because he's not talking about AI replacing workers. He's talking about something much stranger. You can make any piece of software you want because you just ask an AI in English, you say, I got an idea for an app, make me this thing. Mm. And the whole thing just happens. So that's a win for you. Maybe it's a little bit of a loss for me. I think it's kind of cool for the whole world. With natural language, you can say, this is what I want. And it goes off and writes the code for you. Virtual colleagues, AI agents that don't just answer questions, but actually work. They join Slack channels, they submit pull requests, and they even attend meetings. Programmers report being 10 times more productive with AI tools. Scientists say that they're three times more productive. And these are just early primitive versions of what's coming. As Kevin Whale, the chief product officer of OpenAI puts it. The AI models that you're using today is the worst AI model you will ever use for the rest of your life. Altman believes AI will compress 10 years of scientific progress into just one. Think about that. Every decade of advancement cancer research, climate science, and physics compressed into a single year. It sounds impossible, until you realize it's already happening. 
AI systems are discovering new antibiotics, predicting protein structures and solving mathematical theorems that stumped humans for decades. And this is before AGI. Which brings us to the economics, because Altman isn't just predicting technological change. It, it does in fact look like we're about to deliver on intelligence too cheap to, meet, to meter. Um, we've been able to drive down the cost of each unit of intelligence um, by more than a factor of 10 each year for the last five years. Looks like we'll do that for the next five years too, maybe even more. Intelligence too cheap to meter. A future where AI is so abundant and inexpensive that it actually becomes inefficient to measure the cost of each unit of intelligence used, and it basically becomes free to use and no longer requires individual measurement or payment. His solution isn't universal basic income. It's something he calls universal basic compute. I wonder if there's better things to do than the traditional conceptualization of UBI. I wonder if the future looks something like more like universal basic compute than universal basic income. Everyone gets a slice of the newest model's power. You can use it, sell it, or donate it to cancer research. You own part of the productivity. But here's what's fascinating. In April of 2025, Altman tweeted something unexpected. I think this is going to be more like the Renaissance than the Industrial Revolution. No factories and steam engines, but a flowering of human creativity and thought. AI as a tool for intellectual and creative enhancement, not just productivity. But that raises a question. If AI does the work, what do we do? This is where Altman's vision becomes almost religious. Because OpenAI isn't trying to build a better chatbot. They're trying to build what Altman calls a brain for the world. OpenAI is a lot of things now, but before anything else, we are a super intelligence research company. The path as he sees it has five levels. Chatbots, that's level one where we are right now. Reasoners, level two, like their O1 model that can think before responding. Then agents, innovators, and finally, organizations. AI that doesn't just work for companies, but essentially becomes them. His timeline for super intelligence? Thousands of days. Six to nine years. By 2035, he says anyone should be able to marshal the intellectual capacity equivalent to everyone in 2025. But here's the thing about exponential curves. They require exponential resources. In an interview with reporters, Sam Altman said that you should expect OpenAI to spend trillions of dollars on data centers. The Stargate project. $500 billion just to start. Partnerships with Microsoft, Oracle, and SoftBank. Data centers the size of cities. Energy consumption that would power nations. Altman's willing to spend 1% of the world's entire electricity training AI. He's investing in nuclear fusion, clean energy, and anything that can feed the exponential hunger of AI. Because in his mind, the equation is simple. Computational power equals intelligence. Intelligence equals prosperity, and prosperity equals everything. But here's where Altman's vision gets complicated, because the man who warns about AI's danger is also racing to build it as fast as possible. In 2023, he told Congress the regulation of AI is essential. He called for licensing regimes, safety requirements, and government oversight. By 2025, he warned that requiring government approval would be disastrous for America's lead. The focus shifted from safety to competition. Ensure safety, but move at high velocity. Altman's trying to thread an impossible needle, and he knows it. So who is Sam Altman really? A techno-optimist, he calls himself. A science nerd. Someone internally driven to make something happen in the world. He's about to become a father, and when asked what he wants for his child's future, he said, Abundance was the first word that came to mind. Prosperity was the second. In November of 2023, OpenAI's board fired him. For five days, the future of AI hung in the balance. Nearly every OpenAI employee threatened to quit if he didn't return. And he came back changed. I certainly wish I had done things differently, he said. I'd like to believe I'm a better, more thoughtful leader today. The experience seemed to crystallize something for him. Not just the importance of AI, but his role in its development. The face of AI. The architect of the future, whether he wanted it or not. Which brings us to Altman's ultimate vision, what he calls the gentle singularity. Not a sudden rupture in human history, 
not Skynet or the Matrix, but a gradual transformation. Bit by bit, he says, the merge happens slowly. We're climbing the exponential curve right now. It always looks vertical looking forward, flat looking backwards, but it's one smooth curve. We're already on it, and it's already changing. He's not talking about better smartphones or faster internet. He's talking about the end of scarcity, the beginning of something we don't even have words for yet. We are past the event horizon, he recently wrote. The takeoff has started. Sam Altman and OpenAI isn't just building artificial intelligence. He's architecting humanity's next chapter, a chapter where intelligence becomes infrastructure, where thought becomes commodity, where human potential becomes unlimited. Whether his timeline is right, whether his vision is achievable, or whether we should even want what he's building, these are open questions. But one thing is certain, Sam Altman has positioned himself at the fulcrum of human history. As Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky said, I think Sam is obviously like a once in a generation founder. The decisions and the future he imagines, they will shape not just technology, but the trajectory of our species. The gentle singularity has begun, and Sam Altman is its prophet.